When I was given my diagnosis, they told me I had less than six months to live. They told me basically I need to go and make arrangements for you know my passing and get all my affairs in, in a place. When I was told that I had less than six months to live, I prayed and I talked to God. And he said, you're going to die, but you're not going to die right now. He said, I have much work for you to do. I was diagnosed with advanced lung cancer. I was a smoker for 37 years. My mother, she died from cancer. My mother's sisters and her mother died from cancer. So, you know, I, I really was quite arrogant and prideful and not taking the time to realize what I was doing to myself. I often do think about my mother, my grandmother and her aunts and, you know, their journey with dealing with cancer and all the different types of treatments and tr surgeries and how advanced science has evolved and what treatments are available today that have helped to extend my life and other lives around the world. I went through a number of different treatments, chemotherapy standard treatments, not getting the results they were looking for. I was one of the first lung cancer patients to participate in a clinical trial with immunotherapy. Immediately when I had my first infusion, I felt a difference. I felt something that day that was different than what I had been feeling from the two previous years each time I would go to get an infusion. It didn't upset my stomach. I wasn't nauseous. I didn't feel tired. It was just a whole new feeling. And I knew that something was different, something positive was going to happen. So that was my introduction into immunotherapy. And when a person is diagnosed with cancer, it's not just an impact to that person's life, it's an impact to their whole entire family. When I share with my daughters my health challenge, their faces were broken. And they were so hurt. And then when they asked me, how long did I know? And I had to be honest with them and tell them I know for a while and I started treatment. They were very, very hurt. They were very broken. I'll never forget it. As a cancer survivor for the last 10 years, I am on my second life here on this earth. I hope that I'm a better person. I try to give more of myself. I try to lift more people up. I try to encourage people each and every day. And I try to be an example so that others will be inspired to look for the best and not always focus on the worst. If I hadn't gone through this experience, this journey of cancer, I wouldn't have such a powerful testimony. I'm not on any type of medication or treatment and I have a full life. This is what science has done for me. I have a whole new life and I hope that I inspire others. I am just honored to have this experience to share my story with you here today on tape.